Hi, this is Tim with rcnoob.com. Today I'm going to show you a couple upgrades that we've made to our Charisma Scale Adventure Lynx. Now, out of the box, this rig has been just a blast to drive. It has been through more adventures in the last few months than I can really recall. Uh, it's just, it's, it's been fun. I've enjoyed driving it. My oldest son has enjoyed driving it. This is actually his rig. Um, he's really just, he, he's really enjoyed having this machine and, and driving it and, and getting to learn how it performs and how it handles. Now, while it's a truly outstanding performer out of the box, there were a few things that we wanted to change up on it. Now, the first item that we wanted to swap out were the tires. Now, out of the box, the Charisma Scale Adventure Lynx and the Coyote both come with these 1.9 inch um, rock ripper tires. And you'll notice that even though they're 1.9 inch, they're a little bit smaller than what we have mounted on there right now. What we have mounted on here are ProLine's Hyrax tires. These two are 1.9 inch. Uh, difference being these are more of a class one size, smaller outer diameter. Uh, these are more of a standard, quote unquote, standard 1.9 inch tire. Even though they're 1.9s, you're going to have different sizes for the outer diameter. Um, reasoning behind going for these tires versus these, we just wanted to get a little more ground clearance uh, underneath this vehicle. When running this through tall grass and just differing heights of terrain, we noticed that it got hung up a little bit. It could still power through, but we just wanted to give it a little more height, give it a little more grip. Uh, the Hyrax tires I'd heard amazing things about for, well, quite a while, ever since they were first announced and released by ProLine. So I wanted to get a, a set of these and slap them on one of our rigs. As it so happens, I feel that just the look of these tires really match the Lynx body, so I thought it was a perfect match. Opted for the pre-mounted Hyrax tires, so you see they're pre-mounted on ProLine's Impulse B-Lock plastic wheels. Uh, really, you get them, you open them up, you mount them up, and, and you're off and, and rolling. Uh, not much to do there. You can buy these wheels separately, however, if you have a set of just the tires and want to mount them to these wheels. It's a very simple process. We've kind of played around with taking these off and mounting them uh, just to get an idea and a feel for how easy it is to mount these tires again. It's a very simple process, but if you get the pre-mounted ones, you're just slapping them on and you're off and running. Once we had the tires mounted up, we took it outside, we drove it around inside, we got a feel for how the tires help this vehicle perform overall, and overall it did quite well. However, this vehicle is incredibly lightweight, um, just out of the box. It's a very, very lightweight vehicle, and we needed to add some weight to it. So again, I looked to ProLine for some assistance. They were super kind and sent me a set of their brass brake rotor weights. So you can see the little bit of brass peeking through there. Uh, these weights are made specifically for their impulse beadlock wheels. And if you're not running the impulse beadlock wheels, they have a hex adapter that you can uh, bolt those onto as well. All right, here's a closer look at the Hyrax tire and the brass brake rotor weights. Now, each of these weights is about 2.3 ounces, so you're adding a decent amount of weight uh, if you put a set of these on each tire. Uh, mounting process, very simple. I honestly just pressed this on. It's on there incredibly tight. You have to pry it off um, with a screwdriver or some other type of tool to get it loose. So these are going to be stuck on there quite well. A uh, couple things about the Hyrax tire. You know, ProLine has released a number of different compound types. This is, I believe, their traditional or the original Hyrax tire. I feel it's incredibly soft, yet not too soft. Um, I've also been running a set of Duratrax Deep Woods tires on the Traxxas TRX4. Those tires are soft. These tires, they, they are softer, but they still manage to, you know, hold... Uh, quite well. They don't they don't really roll over or flex over too much um, onto the sidewall. So you have good structure on your tire. The tread is you know very deep, very solid. It grips really anything we've driven over rocks, wood, you name it. It has just clawed its way over whatever we dr have driven it over and put it up against. 
Um, and again, these wheel weights really go a long way, especially for the Lynx, which again, I, I, great vehicle, it's just really lightweight. So you want to throw some weight at, on it and you want to throw some weight at it as low as you possibly can. And you can't get much lower than mounting it directly onto the axle. And here's one more real quick side-by-side -side comparison. This is the stock tire that comes with the Charisma Scale Adventure Lynx. This is the Proline Hyrax. Now, Proline did also release a Class 1 version of this tire. So again, you can get it in a smaller size. I like this, the larger size. Gives a little bit more ground clearance. Gives a little bit more traction. Uh, just makes the truck look a lot more mean and aggressive. So that's going to do it for our overview of Proline's Hyrax tires, Impulse beadlock wheels, and brass brake rotor weights. Again, uh, all of these upgrades have made a huge difference in the performance of this machine. Really looking forward to getting this out, doing more driving with it. Um, I shouldn't say I'm going to do more driving with it. My son's going to do more driving with it. Maybe I can steal a controller from him every now and again and, and give it a run. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about any of these pieces or this vehicle, head to rcnoob.com. I've got the review of the links up. I have the review of the brake rotor weights up. I have a first impressions right up done on the tires and the wheels. So everything you can find on rcnoob.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Really looking forward to talking with you guys next time. Take care.